So, Burnley nil, QPR nil. Wow. Where do I start with that one? Um, yeah, wasn't the best, was it? I thought we did start quite brightly, um, which was really good to see. You know, passing the ball around really well, moving it quite quick. I thought, right, we're going to be on for like two, three goals here. I didn't think QPR was uh, getting close to us. I think they were like a yard off. But they showed, as the game went on, that they defended absolutely brilliantly. Um, as a unit, we couldn't, we couldn't break them down. We couldn't get in behind. I mean, I'm, I'm struggling how many saves their keeper made. I think one with his legs. I think it were off Fleming in the first or second half. Yeah, um, not... Not good enough, Burnley. It's um, it's getting really frustrating these sort of games now, where teams are going to sit in, make it difficult for us to, you know, score the goals, get in front. But it, it just didn't look like scoring for me at all today throughout the game. Um, yes, I know we hit the bar, but there's nothing. We're lacking a bit of spark. We're lacking that that creativity uh, on the wings. Every time it goes out on wings, I'm just I'm not. I don't feel like we're going to score. And the the quality of the balls going into the box, the you know the final final ball, it, it, the the quality is just nowhere near for me, as compared two years ago when we had. Ziori and Benson. Every time you you thought they had the ball on the wings, you you thought and they take a player on. You you think right, we're in here. Some something's going to happen. We're going we're going to score a goal or we're going to be very close. But I just I just don't I just don't get excited um, when these Anthony or Cole also are going down wing. I just because I just don't think nothing's going to come off it. Um. Yeah, it's it's hard to it says it all, doesn't it? With where Roberts got man of the match, I think he threw his arms up in the air. You know, he's just like just daft in it. But yeah, I don't, I can't see. I thought Laurent, he he started off very well. First ten fifteen minutes, you know, creating some good passes and stuff like that. But he, he just went missing after that. But Brownhill were in it really. Gone missing. I felt again. I felt sorry for Fleming. He didn't really get any good quality service for him to, you know, create a goal for himself. Um, he was just he was working hard, but yeah, he, he just got no service whatsoever. Um, the only probably positive I would say is um, Egan Riley. I think he's really improving. Um, playing regular at centre half, I think his range of passing is really come on now. He's he's looks like a more confident player now. You know he was, I like how he's like forcing the play now. He's he's putting them balls over the top. He's switching the play. You know he's he looks like he's passing that ball out wide a lot quicker now, which I thought was was really good to see. He's 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 upping his game a bit now. I think. Um, but any more positives? I'm I'm struggling, really. Um, it's really disappointing we didn't get a, a win today. That was our big chance today to try and break away from third to six. Um, but we're still in that mix now, aren't we? I know we're second. We know we got a clean sheet, but that these are the games we need to win. Uh, if we want to, like, definitely go back into the Premier League. You know, QPR, I, th I think before the game, they're in the relegation, show, uh, relegation zone. And, you know, we need to be getting wins. It, there's no there's no going around about it. But yeah. Ch and I just look at the bench as well. It's like, who, who's going to make the difference coming off the bench? The, I looked at it and I'm like, there's no one there who's going to change the game. I know it was screaming for Jay Rodriguez to come on, but 
which were good, but he, he needed a bit more time, I thought. And I can understand why he's drifting out wide, because he has got that that good quality passing in, that good balling. But we need him up top with Fleming trying to create a chance. Uh, I, I don't know what where Sarimento is. I don't, I don't know about that one. Must be must be injured. You know, Hannibal's getting out of favour now, isn't he? He, he didn't get in a, he didn't get a look in, and he didn't come on against Sheffield Wednesday. I, I don't know what happened with the whole game, but uh, I did think that um, new winger. I can't pronounce his name. Ajanji. Um. Yeah. He he looked quite promising. He looks quite good. It, why don't you give him a go? Give start him for the next game. He looked quite. Give something a bit different. I thought, but yeah, just it need it needs it needs some changes. It need it needs freshen up. But we're, we're lacking that quality. And where where the hell is Trezor? I'm like I'm I'm getting a bit sick of this now. Where where is he? Is it because to me now it's gone past the point now he, him coming back and I think he's not bothered. He's not he's not interested and I think he's gonna go in January. I love to be proven wrong, but I'm I'm not hopeful with this one at all. And it he needs like a player like him in the championship to get us some goals and a and assists. Um, it's it's crime for it. But. You know, we're still second. Another clean sheet. I know it's the same, but we are we are getting points, which is a good thing. I'm just wondering now if, because we have got a lot of injuries and we're lacking the quality. I think they're just trying to keep it solid, keep points ticking over, see if we come second or you know third. When it comes to Christmas and January transfer window, whether they will get bodies in with good quality, um, bolster that squad because it it really needs it. Um, but yeah, what is it now? Millwall away next, and I can't remember who the one is. Is it West Brom away? You know, we've got some difficult games coming up now, and we need to start getting some more wins under our belt anyway try and stay positive come on the clarets